the Slavonic Abacus, which is also known as a Reckon Rec, is a great tool for helping students be able to subitize quantities and to see relationships. It also works really well for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. If you're um, watching this video and want to try out an abacus or a rec and rec while we're working with it on the video, uh, I, you can definitely open up the Math Learning Center number rack app. If you're on a computer, it's easy to do the web version. If you have a tablet, there's one uh, set up for an iPad, one for an Android, and another app for the Chromebook. If you have your own 10 row version with real beads, that works well. If you have a two row version, that works well as also. A lot of times people call the two row version a reckon rec, which is the Dutch word for number rack. And it doesn't really matter, except that for older students, for students in first and second grade, it's probably really nice for them to be able to see how large their number is relative to 100, which is as many beads as there are on one of the 10 rows. You'll notice the most important thing about the Slavonic Abacus is having five of one color and five of another color on each row. This is what allows students to be able to subitize these quantities as opposed to needing to count every single bead. And of course, that's one of the big ideas in FactsWise is to help students not have to count every time they work on a, on a problem. So you always start with your beads all the way to the right because we read the abacus from left to right, just like a book. And so looking at this abacus right now, you'll notice that there are no beads on the left, that means we're looking at zero. If I slide one bead over, and you basically slide it over just like you would with your finger, then now on the left, I see one bead, so we've got one. If I want us to have a total of six on the left, I can slide over several at a time, and now I see six. If I want to have 10, seven, which is the way many people around the world say what we say 17. They say 10, seven in Spanish, DSC um, Those This is now a representation of 10, seven or 17. If we want to see 2, 10, four, there's 2, 10 and there's four more. So this is the idea behind place value counting. And you'll be watching the kindergarten students and teacher go through an exercise. You'll notice that the, the kindergartners are still not totally clear that what she's looking for is either 20 or 210, not 1010. That would definitely, in the end, cause a problem as they try and write what we think of as 210. So one of the other things that people often ask about is why do the colors switch halfway down the 10 row Slavonic abacus. Well, if you take a look, halfway down is five rows or 50, so it's easy now to be able to slide over 60 or 70 without having to count every single row. So once again, the color organization allows students to quickly slide over a number of tens without having to count them by subitizing the number of rows. As you watch the video on place value counting, you'll get to see how a teacher is working with her young students on this. Students in second grade may be asked by their teacher to turn in their science book to page 7106. And then the teacher will say, what's another way of saying that? And they'll say 76. So you can definitely incorporate these big ideas of place value throughout the day, if you'd like, after your students are used to place value counting. In the next video, we'll be seeing students who are using the Slavonic Abacus in a show me activity, and later on, we'll be watching videos where they're using the Abacus to add quantities and to subtract quantities.
So it's a really versatile tool and a lot of teachers find that they want them in their classroom, whether they make them by hand, whether they get their PTA to help them make them, or whether they wind up writing a little mini grant to get funding for them.